Hey everyone, Kyle once again. And we'll go back to another uh, movie review. And moving on to more into the ho more of a Halloween theme, you know. Um, before I had to mention, I probably didn't I didn't mention this in my previous review though, but um, or the other video I did, but um, clearly mention. Um, it's already it's already been two years since I've been on YouTube, you know, and yeah, uh, at which I started at the end of September, you know, and already it's been two years since I've been, you know, and uh, I just can't believe how time passes by so fast, you know. Once you start, you start something, you know, with an already it's been a long time since it's already been on it, you know. So I just want to quickly want to mention that though, because I didn't mention the other, my other reviews though other videos, you know, but it's going to say, yeah, it's good, it's good that, you know, if you start something and you've been on it for a while and you're quite proud of it, you know, so, yeah, two years on YouTube, it's been quite a while, you know, so many videos and over, now over 1,500 subscribers and still climbing, you know, which I really do appreciate everyone, you know, but anyway, again, but anyway, it's just getting all that um, out of the way, Moving on now, I think you're gonna figure because um the new Goosebumps movie coming out coming out soon. Um that I'm really looking forward to, you know, to seeing. And I figure why not to review go and review the couple of a uh, few you know, Goosebumps episodes, you know. From the from the T V show. And the Goosebumps T V show from from the nineties. I've always loved, you know. And how how why I'm why how much I appreciate the the how which is now which which is you know, you don't get this kind of show nowadays, you know. Which is sad though, because the Goosebumps show, which was also like another um show that I remember was called um Are You Afraid of the Dark? Where I remember in that show, in that show, a group of teens, you know, they sit around the campfire, you know, tell each one and tell the story, you know, and by the end, you know, they just, they, uh, douse the fire out and they leave, you know. I remember, I remember that show, Are You Afraid of the Dark? I, I thought it was a pretty decent show, but I didn't watch a whole lot because I was more into Goosebumps, you know. And Goosebumps, like I said, how it is now, nowadays, because how this show has a dark atmosphere to it. Which you can tell by watching the show. You know, has a, a just the look of the show has a dark look to it. You know, <clears throat> just like the books. You know, and which I would do appreciate. That's now we don't have, get that nowadays no more. You know, and I really do appreciate how the show how how it's done back in the day. You know, so and I figure you know why not do a um, review a couple of a uh, few episodes of the show. You know. Just, you know, for the Halloween theme before the, um, the movie comes out. Before the movie comes out, you know. And I'm, for, for the, one I'm going to be review, reviewing is one of my, um, is one of the, one of the popular episodes, you know. And also one of my, uh, list of favorite episodes. I, which I would put my, uh, top five favorite episodes of the Goosebumps series. Is, which... Oh, first of all, I I I have I'll show the book and they'll show the DVD and I which I do have the old, the old VHS too. Stay out of the basement. So here, which I I I was like I said for like a while back like last year I showed my whole entire Goosebumps book collection you know, and Stay out of the basement for the TV show which I'll show I'll show I have the book here which is the second book in this in the series. And then followed by which I still have the old VHS tape, which is all worn out, you know. As you can tell, just by the way, like it's how up here is all the top here is all worn out. The plastic is little tears here on the bottom, you know. And just how the how it opens up, just this. you know. So I'm glad I still got the old, uh, the old VHS, the VHS tapes to the, to these, you know, because I remember 
the where what what point putting this uh, on on the old beat my old beat bit mumbling started mumbling again you know on the VHS you know and <clears throat> and just we're we're watching the previews you know sh advertising for these um for the for the videos you know which I always enjoyed you know and also and uh, the DVD you know which this one comes in a two pack of the other DVDs you know. But which like this one, this one what comes in along with Night and Terror Tower, which is also a good one as well, you know. And so yeah, the DVDs and the old VHS and now the book, you know. And I really, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, what I'll show, but I'll hold, I'll hold this one up just for the sake of it, you know, because it's, it's the movie, you know, or TV movie, you know. And it's, it's important. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite episodes, you know, because this is a really a, a good one, you know. I just for my top five. Always, always, in my, always remember the the memorable tagline, you know, viewers beware, you're in for a scare, you know, and always you know, appreciate, you know, well, at the time, you know, based on America's number one book series, you know, not anymore, because by the time it was, you know, and there's also the TV show is also, I think. For like two years in a row, it was like the number one children's show, you know, which I, uh, uh, which I think was was a good thing, you know, because taking classic children's scary children's books, you know, and turning them into TV shows with a dark, atmospheric look to it, you know, it was just awesome back in the day. Back in the day, uh, me and my brother, we've always enjoyed watching these, you know, watching the TV show. It was always a, a blast to watch, you know, what seeing these books come to life, you know, in a TV show, you know. That's why I'm interested to see how this new Goosebumps movie turns out, you know. And I'm getting on topic, I'm getting, getting, getting to the story. Okay, I'm just going to... I'm going to turn on the show, I'm going to say how, how the uh, show is. I'm not going to say, explain if there were, there, were, there was a lot of differences from the to the book. I'm just going to explain how the... In how it is in the, in the in the film version of it. So stay out of the basement, you know. How it always up with all every single show. It always shows the intro of the show, you know, which was a memorable intro and a memorable score by the music. I think by Jack Lenz, you know, memorable intro and um, music to it, you know. So it opens up, you know, with um, Margaret and Casey. Their mother is going to, um, away to um, take care of a relative, you know. Um, their aunt, you know, and they're always saying how their father is acting weird because, you know, ever since he's lost his job and he's always down in the basement, you know, with his basement is full of plants, you know, he's a, a biological professor, you know, and he was fired, so he's always down in the basement, you know, and the kids say, well, especially the market who's acting weird, you know, stop calling her princess, you know. So the, as he as he goes as he uh, go and um, get him because they drive their mother to the airport. He goes they go they take a couple steps down to the basement. Then he's on top of the stairs door and it just says "Stay out of the basement." That's the title, you know. <coughs> so he so he tells him to get out of the basement. But so he, but he apologizes for that phrase for shouting, you know. But um, he, as he go as he drives to their mother to the airport, you know. Um, they're sitting at home, sitting around, like, Casey's playing a video game, and then, um, Margaret's hear is hearing something from the basement, you know, so they decide to go check it out, you know, when they go inside, down to the basement, they see all the plants, you know, which says looks like a jungle, you know, and then Margaret appro approaches one plant, is making this noise, you know, it's moving, you know, and it grabs her, you know, and then... And then their father comes home, and they they hear, they hear the car approach, you know. So, but then Casey, as they go upstairs, Casey accidentally leaves a sweater in the basement, you know. So he goes down there to retrieve it. As our father's waking, make his way up the porch, you know, into the door, you know. But he might just get it, and and the father is also um, already suspicious that they are suspicious suspecting they are, they went in the basement again, you know. It's like, did you go into the basement, you know? So then after they sit down and have a talk, you know, saying, explain, if, he, if, if I explain what I'm doing in the basement, will you feel, will make it feel better, you know? So he explains a little bit, you know, and then 
and that shows later later on, later on the night when the kids are which shows Margaret in bed and I like when it uh, shows like in the dark how the kid goes from the kitchen you know which is all where the whole the whole room is dark and it's just so camera source going towards the basement door which is behind the door it's all green Un underneath the door it's all green you know just the camera going in just focusing on the the, the the light underneath the door you know the green light and the next morning um Margaret makes uh makes breakfast so he wants to leave for dad for for her, fa for her father you know um and then when she he comes out he when he when as soon as he comes um up you know um she goes in the kitchen and she starts uh seeing he's eating plant food just eating you know um and she she uh, call he she calls her the, uh, her mom saying that he's acting he's acting weird you know but saying oh it's part of the experiment you know but then all of a sudden he comes up and takes a phone you know takes takes a phone and um and talks to on the phone, you know, and he sees that he's acting more weird, you know, Halloween says, bye, you know, um, and then, wow, well, what was the weather next, um, later, and then later on the, 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 the next night, Margaret hears his, hears her father, and she sneaks into the bedroom, sees him in the, in the bathroom, he has, you get a cut in it on his wrist, and he's bleeding out green ooze, you know. And then he sees he sees he notices his head that he has leaves growing out of his head, you know. And then which she looks and thinks, uh, she, he looks over over and sees her, you know. She quickly uh, runs into the back into the room and pretends to be asleep, you know. And then the next mo and then the next morning, she tell she goes and tells Casey, you know, um, says that. Well, what uh, what she saw last night, you know, and she's at first he doesn't believe it, you know, like oh, you know, whatever, you know, and he says, I think Dad's a mad scientist, you know, and they go downstairs, hear their father's calling, and then he's making breakfast, and um, Casey says, uh, hey Dad, what's with the cap? I thought you hated baseball, you know, and just, he starts explaining why your father's actually pretty darn weird, you know, and he explains. How part of his experiment that he's trying to create a plant that's part animal, you know. So he said, gives them the breakfast, and what he puts in their bowl is this green slop, basically, you know. And then then they don't want to eat it, and he's telling them to eat it, eat it, you know. So they <laughs> pick it, pick up their spoons like all green, it's like a spinach slop, basically. That's what it looks like, you know. And then the doorbell rings, and he goes to answer it, so they quickly uh, dump it down in the garbage, you know, and um, who's at the door is um, Dr. Mer Dr. Mara, who was uh, from the college, you know, he wants to see what's going on, what he's, what he's doing in the basement, you know. So the father tells him to go outside and play, so um, as they go down the basement, outside they're throwing a frisbee, and uh, Margaret overthrows it t towards the basement window, and Casey goes to get it, and then... He hears he hears both of them arguing down there, and as he's look tries to look into the window, one of the vines comes up right behind him, and then it shows. And then it's a two part. It's a two part. That's when as soon as it raises uh, the vine raises itself up, then it shows to be continued though. So I'm uh, going into part two that the vine attacks him. You know, wraps a ra wraps around him. He manages to free himself, and then the father comes out angry, uh, uh, angry, angry at them. You know, and he says, was there, was there here, there was a fight between him and Dr. Merritt, you know, and, um, I'm telling you, there's no fight, you know, it's like, where is he? He just left. I didn't see him leave, you know. And they think that she, they think that they're spying against, they send a bolt to their rooms, you know, and then he, and then the night, you know, he, he seals off the basement door, putting a lock on it, you know, and what I thought was kind of funny, he's like, um, where's he, like, I put locks in the basement, I put, lock, put this lock on this door, and then I also put locks in the basement windows from the inside, you know, and both stay, both staring at him, he's like, stop gawking at me. <laughs> this is the way how he, how, how the way he said that line, without thought it kind of made me chuckle, you know. Um, so, so he, he goes, he goes, as he goes out, um, Margaret tries to find the number for, um, 
to, to, to find a number to call their mother, and um, they can't find it, so they assume that he took it. So they um, go up into the be- to his bedroom, you know, and his, and his bedroom is all a mess, you know. And they hear on, on, on uh, the answering machine uh, a recording by Dr. Merritt's uh, wife saying that he hasn't been home yet, you know. And then they then they then they hear a door then they hear a door shut that their father came back you know and um, Casey goes in the hallway to try to stall you know when um, as he goes in the bedroom Margaret's underneath the bed and as he sits in the bed you know Margaret's underneath the bed and as he as, as she looks a worm falls on the floor you know and then another one and then. Then a wall, then a wallet that had, that says, uh, which is Dr. Merritt's uh, wallet, you know, with his driver license, you know, he um, he sees the father is putting his hand on the floor, you know, to gra- searching and grabbing at the worms in the wallet, you know, and then he leaves, and then Casey come back comes in, you know, and then this is one I thought was one of the, I think it's, I think I think it's one of the most uh, creepiest um, scenes in the in the series, one of them, you know. I think it's one. It's one. It's one of the creepiest, um, one of the best and creepiest scenes in the show. You know. So as they see the Margaret, they, they see them underneath the covers, and then as she lifts the covers, a, a, a bed, a whole bed full of worms. You know, as they they were shocked, they were scared, and shocked to see it. You know. Just a whole a bed full of worms, and you see like a some areas of the of the big batch of worms is like pulsing. You know. You hear like you know it's like like this you know boom 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 you like how a heartbeat pulses you know a whole bit of some areas of parts of the worms they're just pulsing and pulsing you know how the way how the how the way that the, the, that looks you know that scene looks I think it's one of the creepiest and the best scenes in the show you know that's why that's why one of the parts of the reasons why this is one of my uh, fa- uh, favorite episodes because of certain aspects of that you know which I really do like you know. I'm sure if there's some certain scenes that if they do in shows today, I'd probably be all CGI, basically, you know. And that's another thing I do appreciate with this, this show, you know, because a lot of things are done practically, you know. Even with monsters, there are certain things with, with monsters they do practically, you know. Makeup and costumes and stuff like that, you know. That's another thing I do really do appreciate in this show, you know. Just the same as how the look, how it's just just lifting the covers, and all of a sudden there's this, there's this big batch of a whole, almost a whole bed full of worms, you know. It, it's and it's also again it's it's creepy. It's creepy. One of the best scenes in the show, and it's, it's again it's awesome to look at, you know. Show how the dark, atmospheric this uh, look of the show is, you know, with this kind of aspect and stuff like that, you know. So then they decided to go down to the basement. Um, they they bring uh well she brings a crowbar too, you know, to pry the lock off, and then Casey brings his uh weed killer, you know. So they go down the basement, you know, there and the a couple of vines come out and they in case he sprays it with the weed killer, you know. Um then they find the that uh, the thing, the plant that uh, that that wrapped around um that attacked uh, Margaret earlier. It's grown a whole lot. It's like covered all over the floor and they and the all oh, all of a sudden um well first um this is where you get uh, this scene here, you know. They see like this hand here on this, you know, or basically, it's been referring to this 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 a vine hand, you know, and they see they take a touch it and they're like they're, like moving, you know, and he's like, oh gross, you know, like he's like I think I'm gonna be sick, you know, and then they find that that big plant, you know, and then all of a sudden this that this uh thing opens up and there's a face in there, you know, they spray the whole thing, because he sprays the whole thing and just. Uh, dies, you know, and then, <clears throat> then, 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 um, there's a knock, and then they find this briefcase that belongs to Dr. Merritt, then they open up this, uh, this, this, uh, cabinet, which earlier, there was a scene earlier where, um, the father, uh, had this, uh, thing, you know, when he opens up the cabinet, and hears, um, something, this, uh, this, uh, thing, and hear a, like a muffled voice, you know, hmm, 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 you know, or that, in that scene earlier, you know. So they open up the cannon, you know, and then all of a sudden, a person pops out, you know, all um, tied up, you know. Which they figure out it's their father, you know, tied up, you know. But they say, that's not Dad. Dad loves remember? So they take the tape off of him, and the uh, the father is happy to see, happy to 
see him, you know, see them, you know. And it's like, I thought, how'd you get there? I thought you left. No, that's not me. I've been, I've been in that closet for days, you know. Just untie me, you know. Then he unties, and then he picks up the crowbar, you know, and it's like, then, it's, are you a, are, are you a father? Are you? And then, the other father comes in, you know. I'm your real father, you know. He's not your dad. He's not even human. He's a plant. You're the plant. No. He's lying. He's a copy. He's a plant. Copy. One of my experiments that went wrong. I put him in there because he's dangerous. Now spray him. The other one goes, you know, because in case he's looking to keep on pointing the weed killer, which, is to which one to spray, which one, you know. And it's like, no, he's the copy. He's the dangerous one. He tried to make plant copies of us all. Spray him, you know. So then Margaret takes a weed killer and is like, get back, both of you, you know. And then the, 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 two, the, two, um, two, the two of them are standing side by side, you know. And, and, so, and the, the, the one wearing the baseball cap is like, he was the one that tried to feature the food. He attacked Merritt. And they were like, no, that's not true. He has Merritt locked up in the other cupboard. And then the one keeps, keeps saying, you know, sh spray him, spray him, you know. And then, then the other one goes, please, princess. Princess, and then Marga knows that that was that was um her real father, and sprays the other one, you know, as he screams ah, and then he starts and hey, so how he starts melting, and all of a sudden the clothes, and also no more no more flesh though, and it's just clothes, and then just vines and other stuff of a plant, you know, just falls down, you know, dead. And now I can say now I can say the one of the um one difference that I can I can mention from the book, you know. Because um in 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 the in this though how they kill the clone father you know is with weed killer but it, in this by the end of it in in this book though they just uh, kill it with a hatchet or an axe basically axe hatchet same thing you know that that's how you that's how they kill a clone in this one but in this one it's weed killer you know so I could say that if there is, I could say one difference between this it's how the uh, how the the father plant clone dies in the book from an axe and then in, in the in the in the TV episode weed killer so 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 so, so then a co I think like the next day or two you know they um they get all the plants from the basement um put on the back of the truck yeah um, that uh, they free uh, Dr. Uh, Merritt you know we, which he was he was in um Locked up in another closet, though, so they got him out of that, and, um, and, uh, the father explains how, how this all happened, you know, he says, I cut my hands on a slide, and some of my blood mixed in with some plant molecules, and then he ended up with something part plant, part human, you know? So that's, so that's how it all happened, you know? And... So as as the the, the guy and um, Dr. Merritt um, hires him back at the co at the university or college, you know, as they drive away and um, and the, the 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 father makes a joke, you know, like um, how about how about um, who who's on, oh what was it? who's up for dinner? I got or or for lunch, you know, I got great mixed salad and some garden vegetables, and they're like oh, oh you know, and he's like no, nah, I'm only I'm gonna make hamburgers for everybody, you know, makes a joke of that, and then. As Margaret goes to, to stays back to tie her shoe, one of the flowers starts whisp whispering, you know, Margaret, I'm your father. And then one of the more of the flowers starts speaking to her, you know, and she just goes and runs away, you know, and ends there, you know. So yeah, I I uh, I uh, this is one of, I really do enjoy this episode, you know. It's in my it's it's in one in my top five favorite episodes of Goosebumps, you know, and it's also one of the it's also one of the best ones and popular ones as well, you know. Um, R.L. R.L. Stein said that you know he wants to, he wanted this to be one of the first episodes to be made because he wants um all of his uh, favorites one all of his favorite episodes to be made first, you know. Of course, one of his I think um, not nothing. His all one of his favorite his favorite um. Goosebumps is the the haunted mask, you know. So this this episode and the haunted mask, you know, whoever was considered his favorites, he wanted to be made first, you know, because those are his favorites, you know. So stay out of the basement. Episode wise, I think this is this is a classic episode, you know. I would say that, you know, classic episode. It's one of the better ones, one of the most one of the more popular ones. And it's one of my favorite episodes, you know. 
and it's um like all most of most of the episodes they're like twenty some minutes. For episodes like a, a two part or combined total, it's like forty one, forty two minutes. You know, well it says forty two minutes, so but. <clears throat> And, yeah. And also, um, uh, this is, you know, every every week on Fox Kids Network, which, like I said, this, this series is owned by 20th Century Fox, but on, um, for the new booby, it's owned by Columbia and, and, uh, so, uh, and Sony, you know. Guess, uh, I guess different times, when, time went on, I guess they, um, Goosebumps, uh, the rights got changed over time, you know. But... But this was originally about the this one was originally owned by 20th Century Fox, you know. But now it's uh, the movie's owned, but the film was owned by Columbia and Sony, you know. So, but stay out of the basement. No. And for the cat for the cast of this episode, they were good, you know. They were good. I always never thought they were they never did a bad job, especially um. The main two kids, you know, the kids who played uh, Margaret and Casey, and the uh, the one who had the good thing guy's name who uh, plays uh, the father, you know. They they were they were good, you know. I never thought they were terrible, not one bit, you know. So anyway, that's my uh, review for the the episode of Goosebumps: Stay Out of the Basement. And I'll be sure to get to more reviewing uh, more of uh, favorite episodes of mine, you know. And that's just one of them. I end up holding this, you know. So, that's my review for the episode of Goosebumps Stay Out of the Basement. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned on the next movie review. Later.